okay hello guys and welcome to a new video today I'm going to show you how to import and export a custom workspace in Illustrator so let's get started this is now our custom workspace now let's save this workspace we click in this box over here to switch workspaces or to manage them or to create them so we are going to create a new workspace now let's name it YouTube for example just for example now let's hit OK uh, now let's close the program OK and let's go to the search bar on Windows and now let's type run so this is the run app let's open it after that we are going to type app data now let's hit OK after that you go to the roaming and now let's go to Adobe folder and now we are going to look for Adobe Illustrator settings folder this is the number of the edition of course Adobe Illustrator on your PC it doesn't matter just look for the Adobe Illustrator settings folder not Adobe Illustrator folder the settings folder now let's click on this folder English US you may uh, find a different name of this folder in here depending on the language you installed the program for example if you install it program in French you will find F and R uh, not E N because this is uh, back to the English it's a shortcut for the folder or the version of Adobe Illustrator language you click uh, in this folder and then 64 and now let's look for workspaces folder you click on it and this is the workspace that we created now let's hit Control and X and let's put this uh, workspace somewhere else in our PC for example I'm going to put it in documents let's put it over here let's go back in this folder now this this folder is empty let's open up again Adobe Illustrator let's create a new file and hit create again now this is our custom workspace that we created but it's not saved because we took the file that uh, contained the anvils of this workspace now if we just change it or reset it essential we won't be able to go back to that workspace now we reset the essential and there is no workspaces on the program now saved as you can see so let's close illustrator now and go back to the document folder and hit ctrl x and let's go back to this folder and hit ctrl v again now let's open up illustrator a new file create and now we should be able to see our workspace that we created before in here we hit YouTube and this is our workspace so this file can be imported and exported into this folder this specific folder from a PC to another or if you format your PC and you don't want to lose your workspace customization you can take this folder somewhere else safe like a USB uh, or an external hard drive so you don't lose your custom workspace okay so this is was the video for today if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like for further videos in the future of course don't forget to subscribe in the channel that's it see you later guys